hey it's now tuesday and i actually feel a vile right now you know, my skin is constantly breaking out i think it's because i am a nearly due on so it's just kind of all happening and he likes to tell me goodbye it make my skin break out like a lot but anyway i've decided i do not have the energy to put on the full face makeup so i've just put a little bit of mascara on and to be quite honest with you all if for some reason my eyelashes have, have rapidly grown i don't know why it could have been wearing eyelashes for like four days straight but they're actually really long now so i'm gonna keep care of them and try not to wear eyelashes yeah, that'll probably last for two days and i'll put some eyelashes on but for now <laughs> i'm just gonna be sticking into my trusty maybelline mascara because it actually does work wonders um i'm only going to work today so like it's not as if i need to put on a full face makeup on but i just don't have the energy i might actually fill my eyebrows in because they're looking a bit um hairy i do need to wax them because you have like a, a monobrow at the moment but like i'm just having one of those cba days today and it's just no good but yeah anyway i've just kind of been you know doing nothing really i washed my hair because it was hair wash day today i actually wash my hair like every other day it's that bad because some people only wash their hair like twice a week but i cannot actually do that because and my hair will actually look so greasy but it, it does smell really good i actually use the other herbal essences like coconut shampoo and it smells so good it actually keeps my hair in really good condition as well so that's why i like using it righty oh so i'm now home obviously i'm in my pjs i have had my tea i did have a meatballs pasta in a tomato sauce honestly unreal homemade is the best my dad is a really good chef so i'm really happy about that <laughs> uh, anyway it's now time to wrap my present so i'm going to be using these two gorgeous bits of the wrapping paper however there's not a great deal of paper in here so i am also going to be using some other type of wrapping paper i have pretty much bought everyone's christmas presents one of mom's presents is on the way i need to get scott's parents uh, something as well the tiki max is really good for wrapping paper it's 2.99 a roll it is obviously more pricier but it's a lot better the quality and it's really pretty i also do have this as well some of this from last year if it's got the reindeers on it it's really cute and then i've also got some gold tags and stuff to put on the things but i've got a lot of things under my drawer here for the presents so i'm gonna get a cracking move kind of wrapping them up these PJs are, are so comfortable. Who else lives in the PJs? Because I absolutely love wearing them all year round. They were so cosy and soft to wear. But yes, I'm going to get cracking because I don't have a long until I've got to go to sleep as well because I am starting work very early in the morning tomorrow. So I don't want to be holding myself up too much, you know what I mean? I've only managed to wrap three presents tonight and that is enough for me. I'm not going to show any more of the floor but yeah so i've wrapped the three scots presents on honestly it's just enough how cute is the wrapping paper though and like yeah, the gold kind of gift tags i'm not a pro kind of wrapper however i think it's kind of cute and scott does have a little you know, christmas sack so yeah, once i've wrapped you know, some of his presents i'm going to start you know, putting them in the sack and then like it'll build up i've got him like eight presents all together so yes but yeah i'm going to tidy up now because i've got all this mess here so i still have more of scott's presents to wrap i've got you know, my parents my sisters my grandmas to wrap so a little and often i don't have to do them all in one because it it does take a lot of time and effort you know i might even wrap in one more because i still have some spare a wrapping paper but yeah we'll see we will see because I've just got a lot to do and I'm really tired if you can't tell by my voice. It is Wednesday now everyone and I'm in the sky. I'm in the sky. I'm you in the car with Scott. <laughs> Nearly. We've been doing some last minute kind of Christmas shopping, haven't we? That's what we said last time. I know, but yeah. It's been kind of doing... I think I'm done you know, now. I think I'm pretty much Maybe some, done. something else for Josh. I'll need to get 
is your brother Black's it, I think. I think, I don't know. I've got your sister a couple of things. Yeah. You've just been buying a little bit for like your parents really, like Christmas presents and stuff. Um, I'm probably going to wrap tonight. If Did not, your dad watch? No, he didn't watch me YouTube videos. I got videos. Book, didn't I? Oh, and yeah. the voucher. Oh. Cost me a But yeah. I'm looking very tired. I like this, this hoodie with this jacket. Yeah, it's a cool vibe. And I've just got with my big jacket on. And then, if I was sitting for underneath the belly, you make one because I really cannot be bothered. That's good. That's Isn't that like, look, whenever you put what? your handbrake on because they're not moving, they start moving. Yeah, I know. Oh, so we, we were on our way to Asda and Hobbycraft um, to get some bits and bobs. But me and Scott are going to be making a Christmas garland this year. For Edinburgh. For Edinburgh. So I'm pretty excited. We're going to be going to Edinburgh over Christmas. Like it's very fun. Yeah. yeah. We'll probably catch you up when we are probably in Edinburgh. <laughs> we're not Edinburgh. Asda maybe. She got the Baratine Spa. No, you are right. You are really all right, my love. So everyone, we are now home, aren't we? Yes. And <laughs> we are just chilling before. I'll be a I've actually put some food in. I'm actually kind of surprising Scott at what I'm making. It's not anything I've seen it <laughs> out there, yeah, but it was a surprise. Yeah. It was meant to be a surprise anyway, but if we've done if we've pretty much finished our Christmas shopping now, if we've got uh, my grandma, uh, your parents, uh, my parents all I need is to get uh, uh, your granddad something. Mm. Um but yeah, they were pretty much all finished. So I've obviously got his parents a couple of things each. Um, and I am excited to wrap all the presents, obviously. But yeah, um, it'll be nice to, you know, give presents and stuff, won't it? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's getting nothing next year. I look at my little teddy bear here. Hello. So cute. Scott actually got me this. But yeah, I am absolutely starving. I've been so moody since we came in. I am really sorry, but I'm tired and moody. It's not a good combo, is it? Also, I've been booking people in in my diary. Because people are booking in for makeup now. How cute is this? Love it. So, yeah, it's just kind of... I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm just so tired. I just need to sleep. Ooh. I'm just preparing our tea. And your mum has put the Christmas tree up. How cute is that? Business car. Business car. Look how cute it is. Yeah. Yeah, we never put our Christmas trees and decorations up this early. However, mum has decided to, obviously. It's supposed to be a very bored, but yeah. Festive. It's pink and silver, I think. They're very nice colours. Pretty. Very Christmassy. It does feel very Christmassy with this on, doesn't it? Mm. In the corner. <laughs> yeah, so Christmassy. It does, it feels nice. Yeah, but yes, I'm going to keep an eye on the food. Tonight, on the menu, we are having chicken steaks and sweet potato fries. A piece of sweet corn and some. Wait for it. Wait for it. We will see what rice there is. I think there is a golden vegetable rice. We're not having golden vegetable rice, okay? Yeah? Is that alright with you? It, 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 yes, the sweet chilli sauce is the barbecue tomato. Anything you like, I'll make it. So. That like is going straight in the microwave in around five to ten minutes. Scott has also made some a carrot cake if my mum and then a two bits of brownie. Oh I look how good that brownie looks wait. Let's have a look. Oh look at that gooey fudgy brownie and that carrot cake. I'm not a fan of carrot cake personally, however, it does look very nice. But this, oh my god, it actually smells amazing. You can take the husband to Mars bar in it. 
the flame. Oh, oh. It's <laughs> right, I'm gonna keep it in there, but yeah, I'll, I'll I couldn't keep... find a big enough box. <laughs> <laughs> it smells gorgeous anyway. Ooh, damn. Imagine that warm with ice cream. I know. Oh, it looks so cute. Oh, you put all the sauces out. It was not hey, any sweet chili sauce. I'll go and find some in the fridge. I'll go and find <laughs> some. Oh, what's this? Oh no. A very hot sauce, you don't want that. Or oh, peri peri, no. Here's gonna be some sweet chili because I was such a sweet chili at the moment, everyone. I don't know why. I have an obsession with sweet chili. I don't know why, but I'm just obsessed with it. Like, I'm obsessed. And see if there is any. Yeah, there is, I think. Yes. Brand new bottle of sweet chili. Yeah, that's made my night. Wow. Everybody. so it is now thursday and to be honest it isn't a very good day because i was up early work this morning and then yeah, the whole kind of system it went down so it was all a bit hectic at work this morning and then yeah, when i finished work i've literally come down with a cold if you can't already tell i do have a bit of a nasally voice so i actually feel so run down yeah, this is just you know, the start of me getting a cold that I get every year and I'll have it for like a week and then it'll just, it would disappear all of a sudden. They're trying to drink plenty, blow my nose and all that stuff and you know, I'll be fine. I've also waxed my eyebrows up a lip and underarms because they really need it done like urgently. So you know, my eyebrows are in really good shape, upper lip is really smooth and obviously yeah, my underarms are just no hair on them all, so it's really good. But yeah, I tried to have a two hour nap and I probably only got about like half an hour sleep because yeah, I kept waking up because I could not uh, breathe yeah, through my nose. So I like, tried to breathe like yeah, through my mouth and like, oh, it was honestly uh, terrible. I still do feel uh, really tired, but it's fine. Anyway, I am... I'm going to show you what I've got Scott's parents for Christmas because I did go shopping with Scott yesterday but I don't think I actually showed you what I got his parents and I am also going to show you the little kind of bits I got for Scott and I actually got him something else. I was actually finished with getting all his presents however I might have kind of um, bought him something else for Christmas. So yeah, I'm going to show you what I've got him. And what I've got his parents because you know, they're really nice presents and I know that you know, they don't you know, watch my videos and Scott you know, does not have the time you know, to watch like a 40 minute weekly vlog because he's just so busy so I'm pretty safe you know, to show all his stuff in the vlog. So for Scott's parents I've decided you know, to get them a lush set each. In this box it's from Poundland because I've got his mum like a couple of separate items however I've got his dad, yeah, this really cool set. It comes with yeah, the Jolly Shower Gel and yeah, the Silver Bells Shower Balm. And yeah, they're really nicely wrapped, yeah, the gift sets. Yeah, that is why I really like them. And then, uh, for his mum, his box was from Poundland. just like a nice uh, wooden box. Obviously, like, it, it's very different compared to that one, but it is a nice box. Um, and then, I've actually got her yeah, the Comforter Shower Gel, uh, not Shower Gel, uh bubble bar and then the plum shower gel so that's what i've got his parents and then also i got his dad some maltesers because he loves these so i got my box of maltesers these feel really heavy for a box of maltesers i don't know if that's because i'm weak or if i've not actually held a box of maltesers in a while they feel pretty heavy so yeah and then his mum loves these it just brazils so i've got them with that it looks kind of small, but, you know, it's it's very thoughtful present, you know. In my present drawer, have you guys actually seen it here? I don't actually know. Yeah, so, firstly, when I was in Poundland, um, I actually got a few kind of bits, like, I think went a bit overboard, really, but for Scott's kind of like, because... Yeah, we put all our presents in yeah, the sack. I wanted to get him 
a few kind of little bits. So I got him really Dairy Milk, a Robin, a dime, the things. He loves like the dime bars and stuff. And it, I've actually had these before and they are way nicer than actually having the dime bars. They're so worth a pound. I mean, for a pound, you only get about 10 in there. But I mean, it's it's Christmas. I then got him a couple of the dairy milk snowmen. I never actually realised I picked up two different flavours, but I got the normal one and then the chocolate orange. And these are 50p from Poundland. It was basically like a pound for two, which I think is alright. Again, everything is overpriced these days, but I mean, it's fine. The gingerbread chocolate, because he actually said he really liked this, and last year we had this, and it was unreal. It was a pound as well, and then some randoms. <laughs> so very random, <laughs> as it says in the word. A lot of chocolate, and then it's just some sweets. I don't even know if he likes these or not, but I just thought, in between all of his like a big presents in there, I could kind of hide some chocolate to open and then oh yeah i also got him a bubble bar from poundland it was a pound obviously well not i think it's a pound in there but it was a pound it smells really nice and he loves it relaxing it scents like lavender and calamayole and stuff and it just it look really good for like primark uh, not primark poundland it might keep saying primark or poundland i don't know Oh yeah, and then in TK Maxx, <laughs> his last present, if you were looking at the watches and yeah, there was a couple I really liked for him and he, he really liked yeah, this watch. It was in 1999. He loves his watch. I got him yeah, last year for Christmas. So I'm just going to show you this watch. It's like a, a brownie kind of leather strap. I'm just going to show it off in the light. A brownie kind of leathery strap and it's rose gold it is really nice um and he absolutely loved it it's by the brand caribbean joe but how nice is that it was for 20 pounds so i thought well that was really good because tk max watches are really a really good mix and stuff and really a good quality so that is all i've got in now yeah the last things i'm getting for christmas and that is what i've got his parents so i am going to do some more kind of wrapping in now probably i'm absolutely freezing by the way i know i have a jumper on and gym pants but i'm absolutely freezing so i'm probably going to do some more wrapping i'm actually going to be trying this it's a cake well it's not a chaffa cake it is a chaffa orange a bar so like it's basically like a chaffa cake but without the cake and it's in a bar it's by the brand Lee's and your dad actually bought a couple of these so I thought I would try it out it will taste it and try it out and see if I like it I love anything chocolate orange however it, it is just it is just made of full orange inside so I don't know if I'm really a fan it's like a really dark chocolate oh my god look at that so dark wait let's have a taste test um yeah mm, oh my god wow yeah that is so rich it reminds me of the fries the chocolate creams but the orange ones it doesn't have orange ones i feel as if it's just exactly the same as like a fries orange cream. It is very rich, man, but oh my god, it tastes so good. My mum has actually put a small kind of fairy lights and stuff in these lanterns. So if you have this one here, the tree, of course, which is so pretty, and then these here, a very colourful one, and then like a white colour. So we have like a warm one here. You know, very warm tone and cool and colourful. So kind of like a bit of a, a mix of colours and stuff. But I think it's really nice. And I am having a chicken corn for tea tonight. I guess it's a ready meal. Don't come at me. Yeah, the only thing is we don't have any naan bread. Who else? It loves naan bread. And 
it before you judge me yes i am having a coma because i i'm not the best with spice i'm not gonna lie but the little ones are really nice it's gonna take it out of the microwave i think it is ready i have to believe i just need to ask my mum because she put it in for me i need to read the instructions actually that might be better oh my god i have actually finished packing for the night they're not packing the wrapping presents so this is scott's sack it is actually full to the brim of presents it's not even spent as much on each other this year because it's our second christmas and you thought because like we have our own businesses now it would be better to save our money a bit more and not spend as much and plus it is scott's birthday a month after christmas so it'll be good to kind of save present ideas for his birthday as well also the most spread presents are over there. I've watched a bit of stuff on Barker on my laptop. My back is absolutely killing me. Like, I think it's from leaning over, sitting on the floor and stuff. And, like, yeah, doing all that stuff. However, earlier on, I did actually do some shopping online. Not too much. I basically, well, basically on Facebook, I am in a makeup artist group. And that includes, like, all the makeup artists sharing uh, products on sale and stuff like Black Friday stuff. All thing makeup, uh, pretty much. Um, and on the Huda Beauty website, yeah, their foundations are usually £33. However, yeah, they were on sale for £5.50. So guess who has went and ordered three of them? Yeah, they are coming from America and they have to pay £5 shipping. But £5 shipping from America is pretty cheap. So I I'm excited for them to arrive. And... I do have a couple of other parcels arriving as well, so I will definitely show you them if they arrive in this weekly vlog. But yeah, I am absolutely exhausted. In my arms, my shoulders, my back, I cannot wait to get into bed and just chill. Like, I actually feel exhausted. Hey everyone, it's now Friday. As you can tell, I'm breaking out a lot. I think, yeah, I don't know. My skin is just telling me to... I do some skincare probably. I'm not gonna lie. I've only been using moisturiser for like the past month. And, and that could be why, I don't know. Anyway, so I woke up this morning, I opened my door and yeah, there was something, or a few things outside my room. So I'm gonna show you because my mum has actually ordered me these, bless her. So kind of her. Um, they were in the Black Friday sale, so I mean, even better, you know. It is actually Black Friday today, but I've actually ordered everything before a Black Friday, so I may be thinking potentially of doing a Black Friday kind of like unboxing thing. However, I'm most likely not be able to wait for everything to arrive because a few things I'm like too excited to open. But we will wait and see anyway. But I'm just going to show you what this has got me because they look really good and. I am going to be using them in the salon, so I'm, I'm excited. So here is what she's ordered me. The three things from the brand Aaron. Um, it's basically like a skin, like a spa kind of skincare brand. So firstly, she got me a bergamot and a mint a sea mud mask. I'm going to smell it in a minute. I'm sure it, it'll smell absolutely amazing. And this is, how many mid is this? I don't even know, but... It's a good size for like a little mask anyway. Then she actually got me a lavender and tea tree facial scrub. A lavender and tea tree. Also smell really good and it's really good size for like a face scrub. I think they're only like around four or five pounds each, which is really good. Aloe vera and witch hazel facial cleanser and toner. And that is a 300 ml. A really good size again. Really nice. So thank you very much mum for getting me all this lovely stuff. I am going to be using it for facials in the salon and I'm excited to smell them as well now. So where I am again, I'm now home in my bed, where I should always belong. So, I've got my makeup on. As you can tell, I've gone for like a brownie, kind of greeny eye look. Also, in my Morphe palette, one of the shadows had smashed. It went not opened it at work, so I was really annoyed. And it's like a black shade. And in my flooring is white so it did take a while to actually clean it all up but anyway i'm now gonna enjoy chocolate orange bark i am hungry uh, i did have half a pizza for lunch at my work and it was just 
it was really nice but i've got a funny story to tell you all so basically the last night yeah, my mum actually put a pizza in for me so that i could have it for lunch today and then she completely forgot about it being in the oven and then like an hour later she remembered and she took it out and it was all black i'll insert a photo here honestly it was like a black like yeah burnt so it had to put another one in so that's not very good but yeah um it's just gonna be booking in some people just i don't know just chilling really as always i've got my little teddy bear with me yeah um nothing else to say i'm gonna do some editing book some people in in my diary i had a couple of cancellations today mind it really hasn't it been as like a good a day as i hoped it would be but but you know what it's all right it's fine also yeah my legs could do the wax i'm gonna have to wax them very soon but yeah i'm just, I'm just gonna chill i am still full of cold it's slowly going away though slowly but surely even my nose is just uh, running and that's the only thing I've got. Um, if if didn't have a runny nose, I'd be completely fine. But yeah, I'm just gonna cut all this, you know, and just chill. Good morning, everybody. It is now Saturday. I am. Oh my god, my voice went so croaky. Then I am wide awake. I've just finished doing my makeup, as you can tell. Got a different style of eyelashes on. I think these are actually doll beauty ones. I'm not actually sure what they are called however doll beauty currently do have eyelashes for 250 on the website i did not actually order any because my mum actually told me not to which is kind of suspicious but i'm just gonna roll with it but speaking of black friday it was obviously black friday yesterday and i don't know if i actually told you guys but i made another order on p louise yeah i know i am addicted to p louise makeup now and all of their they're not eye bases they're more of like these eye paints in different colors so i ordered six of them and a couple of them were three pounds and then the other four were 450 each so i am excited for them to arrive they won't arrive until next week now but i am so impatient but i'm kind of hoping that one or two more parcels will arrive today because you actually order a doll beauty parcel, a Huda beauty parcel, another P. Louise, and then it's what you ordered yesterday, which isn't going to come. But yeah, anyway, last night the weather was like super, super windy, and basically it has kind of been a storm or something, I think, anyway. And this morning I went into the dining room to have my breakfast, and oh my god, it was absolutely freezing. Usually in yeah, the dining room it is pretty warmish. Oh my god, why is my voice going so croaky? <coughs> um and I was absolutely Baltic, so I literally I rushed to have my breakfast, so I, went, I went upstairs to my room, I turned the heating on as well. I'm now turning into an adult. My mum is basically training me up on how to become an independent person very much. So I now know how to put the heating on in the house. I mean it is pretty easy, it's just got like if you have this little, um, if you have this little, is it thermometer or something, whatever you call it? I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what the proper name for it is, but yeah. So I am going to work this morning. I will be walking down in around 15 minutes because I do have two waxing clients and two facial clients. So yeah, to be honest, today hasn't actually turned out too bad. I suppose um so yeah and i'm also wearing this lovely jumper again because i only had on for like a few hours yesterday and it's a really cold day today so i want to be wearing a lovely warm jumper so that is that really yeah so i'm just sat here waiting to go to work yeah my eyes look really green today i think it's because i've got an orange a bit rusty orange jumper on there i've got like a brownie orange eye like eyes on my eyes eyeshadow eyes on my eyeshadow on my eyes so everyone a parcel has arrived for me as you can tell doll beauty parcel so basically in the black friday sale doll beauty always do goodie bags of all their stuff so i'm going to open this 
on camera i am excited because uh, i have had doll beauty goodie bags in the past and they look how nice that their mail bags are anyway i'm gonna open some camera because not i really have a clue of what i actually got in here so i have to look at the first one wow okay i have got a bubble gum the doll candy eyes i've never actually I had one of their eye pickings before. Oh my god, that is such a pretty colour. How nice is that? Can you see that colour? Yeah, that's going to be so pretty on the eyes. It's like a pinky goldy colour. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Because that is the first one. Second one. A lip liner. She fine. A kid in it. Shade. In the shade killing it, I mean. I actually love these goodie bags. It makes me want to order more of them because they always look so good and they're always really exciting when you get them. These are the only things. They're so hard to get out of the box. Right, come on. I don't need the box anyway, so there's, there's no point in. Please don't say it's a black shade, is it? If it's like a really dark black shade, then... <laughs> okay, I don't want it. Jokes. I'm joking. Um... I'm a beta eyeliner. This can't be a lip liner. A lip liner? Are you a joke? I am. <laughs> this is a lip liner. It's black. Um, I'm actually using it as an eyeliner. I mean, it's made of the same thing, but that is the second thing I've got. So, so far, I've got these. And these retail for £10. So, I think that's really good because this goodie bag is £10 alone. But that's the first things I've got. Then I've got eyelashes, Tiana eyelashes. They're very nice and natural. I'll be able to use them on my clients. A nice natural pair. And then I have got a doll light duo. Ooh. Yeah, this is a really good goodie bag actually. I'm really happy with these. Right, let's have a look at what I've got in here. Because I love the highlighters so much. Like I literally am obsessed with them. <gasps> If one of them was actually smashed, I had a feeling if one of them was going to smash, I don't know why, but if one of them was smashed in the box. I, I can't really complain. I'll be able to put it, it back together with ISO clean, thank God. I'll definitely just be using this on myself anyway, because I've got plenty of dog highlighters, but it is so pretty. Oh my God, I'm really happy with that. So overall, for everything I have actually got, I've got eyelashes, two highlighters pretty much, eye uh, uh, glitter and a lip liner, which I'm going to use as an eyeliner. So for £10, I, I think it's pretty good. I'm actually thinking of ordering more because I'm literally obsessed with the uh, makeup I've got so far. But yeah, £10 for all that is really good. I am now on my way to Scott, as you can tell. Hold on, is here. It's absolutely massive and so heavy. But yes, I am on my way to Scott's. It will take me around four minutes to get to his house. It is been so windy lately. It's literally been a poo bags being blown in front of our gate. It has been piles of leaves everywhere. Yeah, it's been a bit of a mess, all this wind. But you know what? I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get to Scott's safely. I think I will. The only thing is, with my little car, it can be like it's a very light a little car but so any wind it does kind of pick up under the car as long as i can it kind of keep it in control while driving and stuff it'll be all right it's just a shame i wasn't the heavier in these times you know but anyway i'm, I'm gonna be on my way i'm looking a bit oily but honestly i really couldn't care less when makeup's come off you, my skin is so spotty under this like it's actually so bad look who is? Hiya! Oh, look. Look, it's like you. Oh, it's like you. Oh, it, it's been playing with a little toy, haven't we? Is, is that your favourite? Oh, it is, isn't it? Oh, good girl. She's so cute. I love you. I do. I do. Oh, <laughs> two, one, <laughs> Be on me. I woke up and it's been snowing and then it's still snowing. It, oh, don't film it, me. 
It's laying. Bedded. Oh, Look at all the snow in the sky. Snow joke, is it? Oh, really? God. Snow joke. Yeah, there's loads of it. What's on the... Um, is it Daisy's blanket? I think it's dry yet. <laughs> <laughs> I am home now, and as a lot of you who would already know, it has been snowing today, yeah, but luckily yeah, the roads weren't too bad on the way home. However, when I got to near my house, there was a load of fog and I have to go on like a lot of roundabouts yeah, before I get to my house and yeah, there was a power cut. So that means I was actually plunged into darkness in a really heavy fog. So it was quite scary to be honest because you couldn't you really see you know, the lines in the road and stuff and you kind of had to keep the wheel straight but luckily i managed to survive and i got home but anyway i did vlog today i don't know if i told you but it means scott and his granddad we're going to be going to win a forest and i said to scott it's maybe not a good idea because that's been snowing today and it'll be really icy and it'll be dangerous because you you kind of have to climb a bit of a gradient to get to it and bad roads and everything else but anyway it means scott and his granddad actually went in his car and he managed to get which is before to the forest but it was too dangerous his car was skidding all over the place it was just really slippery roads and stuff and it was really dangerous so it was turned around and it didn't go in the end so he actually went out for sunday lunch at this pub and it was fairly good food um pretty average it was still really nice it wasn't the best but i mean it was still really good but yeah i've just come home into a maltese maybe in dear i love these so much i love them up. i love maltesers some new gloves if they all seem to lose mag you know these are off my mum and then they're very boring it, it was deodorants um so yeah but i am excited because i think i'm i'm excited because i think i might be having another sunday dinner in around an hour or so i'm actually gonna ask my dad what he's making for tea yeah, but Scott is not staying tonight it's just because of the weather conditions it's not really the best but I am going to actually charge up in a little square card reader thing that needs charged for the weekend and what else was I going to do um I don't know I really want to take my makeup off but I don't know I'm just happy to be home as well because I can kind of do my own thing now I obviously love being with Scott and stuff and I didn't really vlog with him as much this weekend it's just because you don't always have to vlog with like your girlfriend or boyfriend you know all the time and it was nice to spend some quality time with him so yeah have a nice weekend I am excited for some parcels to arrive hopefully next week now Um, I was hoping a few more it would have arrived yesterday but I mean I suppose that's been Black Friday, You're very busy in the warehouses and stuff, isn't it? But also, update on my cold, it's gone now. I told you it'll be, it won't be here for no longer than a week. Also, my shoulders look really big. It's because this jumper is really, really long on the arms, but I have short arms, so it makes my shoulders look really big. But yes, yeah, so I'm feeling a lot better now. I'm gonna have my Maltese around here. And I am actually going to end this vlog here because I've had such a good week to be honest. They're kind of doing bits and bobs, you know, working as always. And the next week I have a busy week with work, so I'm pretty excited about that. And obviously, it's getting closer to Christmas as well. So, you know, it's just like very exciting time for a lot of us right now. But if you guys have enjoyed this vlog, you know what to do. Please make sure to leave a thumbs up, a comment down below. Also, subscribe and I will see you all in my next videos. Bye everybody!